guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back with a different type of video. This is actually the first part of a Let's Build series. If you're not familiar with what a Let's Build is, it's essentially a few parts, depending on how long it takes, where we build a house or some sort of structure in real time. So I'll be building this without sped up footage, just talking over it as I do it. And then you guys can see and follow along as well as give me feedback and I can incorporate some of your thoughts and ideas into the next part so we can kind of sort of build this house together. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I had put out a poll on my community tab a week or so ago, as well as asked in a couple of my videos for suggestions on what we should build. And I combined a couple of those suggestions and we're gonna be building a modern A-frame house. I decided that would be cool because there's a lot of modern suggestions. There was a couple of A-frame suggestions and I've built A-frames before and I've built modern houses before, but I've never combined them. I always have rustic A-frames and like boxy modern houses. So I thought this would be a really fun idea. So let's get started. I'm just gonna start by grabbing a box and drawing it out on the lot. I'm not exactly sure how big I want it to be. However, I do know that I want the upstairs to have a livable space as well. I'm thinking three or four tiles up here. Um, maybe four, yeah, I think four. So we're gonna want this equal on both sides. So I'm gonna make this uh, eight tiles on the bottom and make sure that this is on medium wall height. So then we're gonna go ahead and grab a, um, we're gonna grab a, one of these ones actually, because it's easier for me to figure it out this way. So we're gonna drag this up and all the way to the end here gonna click this little button and drag it inward to get rid of that overhang and then we're gonna make it really tall and I mean tall enough to cover those walls like that it's sticking out a little bit so let's make that a little bit taller so it's really tall right now um, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab these pieces and put them on the side here drag them in so they're only two tiles wide drag these in so that there's no overhang and then we're gonna try and line it up as best we can with that roof. I think that works out pretty perfectly. That's exactly what I wanted. And we're gonna go ahead and drag that back, go ahead and duplicate that piece of the roof and put it on the other side. So that's looking pretty much like an A-frame house. The only thing is you can't access that room because this roof goes over it. So how I do that is you're gonna take that roof off, put it down, duplicate these pieces on each side. They will line up flush with the ones that you already have placed since you already measured all of that out to make sure they're the same angle. And then if you grab this roof and place it on top and just scale it down to the size of that floor area, we have an A-frame house. Okay, so the shape's there, but I feel like I don't want it to just be this shape. I want to do a little bit more with it. I also think I want it to be a little bit further back, like a long house. Uh, because I feel like most of the A-frame houses that I see in real life are a bit longer. They're very narrow in the front, although this one's not super narrow, but then they extend pretty far back, um, and I think they're really cool. The thing with if we keep it like this, though, is there's not going to be any windows on the sides of the house, and I do want to add some windows. Not a ton, but some. So I think the best way to do that is to add some sections where the house kind of comes out of the roof. Uh, so I'm kind of thinking of where that might look nice. Do we want on the bottom level, the top level, both? I think kind of the both might look nice. So I'm thinking like a bump out maybe like that. Maybe off center too, like a little bit more off center than that. Could look nice. Um, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um, actually, no. Let, let's think about this. I think actually maybe adding... Oh yes, I like this idea better. I'm gonna drag this in. If I hold down shift while clicking on this button, it'll just interact with half of the overhang so that it's only removing it on one side. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and duplicate it on this side and fix that same overhang problem. So now we have like this hole in the roof, which I think looks pretty cool. And I think I'm gonna put like a half wall in here so that we have this little balcony area, which I think is super cute. We can put something over that to make it less weird. I think I might also place a roof up top here so that I can kind of make a um, an overhang over this area so it's not completely out to the elements. So let's go ahead and drag those little bits in and I think that could work out kind of cool. Uh, let's try some various different tiles for this. Since it's modern, I'm kind of thinking like a flat black would look kind of nice. Something like that potentially. I don't mind that. Uh, would a glass look good on that? Hmm. 
I think I'm okay with that. I think that looks kind of cool. And I also kind of want to add a foundation around this house. Uh, so let's go ahead and drag this out. Uh, should I have it just on the front or should I have it all around? I'm thinking just on the front for right now and we're gonna go ahead and raise this foundation up, which makes the roof look real weird. Uh, so we're gonna have to put some foundation under here to match up with the uh, sides of the house. So let's just quickly do that. I'll just drag it around the whole house, I think, so that it'll fit nicely. And then I think that solves the problem of the roof looking funny. All right, so <laughs> we have these two floors. We can put windows and like, or a door or both right here, but we don't have windows anywhere else on either floor. So I think we still need to add something in that regard for the rest of this house. But let's focus on getting like a front door and some windows and stuff first. So I think I wanna use like the big modern windows the really basic ones potentially. Ooh, but I kind of want to check out these ones because uh, we are going for like a modern, ooh, purple. I mean, it's a look. I don't think I've ever used this window before. That is so cool. C can we do, can we use that? Oh man, I'm getting excited. Hold on, let me see what this one would look like up here. That's really cool too, it's really simple, but this one is just like something I've never used before. Definitely modern, but this is also so modern. I don't know which window I prefer of those two in the front because this one's really fun. Uh, it has some like more toned down colors. We could just do the black one or one of these other shades. I'm kind of feeling the purple one though, just because it's so different. Uh, I'm not sure, but we'll we'll think about that for sure. That's that's something. I'm going to consider as a really pretty window for the front of the house. I think I want to add some more windows in the front up top uh, to go on the long sides of these. However, we don't have a window that's the same size. So I was kind of thinking two smaller windows that are kind of centered in that window could look nice. Let me see if there is any kind of other color for them that would look good. I don't think so, but I really like just how simple that is like stained glass in the middle and then these just plain windows off to the side. I also just really like what these windows look like when they're not floor to ceiling, when they're just kind of in the middle. I might actually place those there as well. That could look cool. All right, let's check out what door options we have here. I feel like we got some nice ones with Get Famous. So let's take a peek. Ooh, that centers perfectly. That's, ooh, black, okay. I mean, this is a serious contender. <laughs> I didn't even remember this door. And then it would kind of have the same feeling as up top where these kind of center within that space. I don't know if that bothers me that it's too like matchy matchy though. Or do I wanna try out the Get Famous windows that we got that I was thinking about using on the top level? Do those fit the same height of that they do? Ooh, they do. That looks so pretty. Okay. We could still use these on the end. This could be a very symmetrical house, which I feel like is kind of natural for an A-frame house. I don't build symmetrical things that often, um, but that could work. How do I feel about extending this out a little bit further on all, on the front of the house? I think that might look nice. Yeah, I think, I think that's cool. Let's add a roof trim. That's what the word I'm looking for. I think maybe a black. Um, yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, uh, let's also get one of these trims for this half wall over here. Oh, I didn't get the roof trim for the glass. Let's get one for the glass roof over here as well. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm definitely liking this. I think we need some stairs. Uh, I think I wanna use these ones from Seasons. They're some of my favorite and they have a little bit more of a modern feel to them. I'm thinking, We'll do it centered, maybe like four wide. Is that too wide? I'm not entirely sure. We could also instead put them like on the sides, each side. I kind of like that idea. So then the front is not obstructed by stairs. We might put a fence or something there though. That might look cool. Ooh, what if we put a half wall and it has those short windows on it so that they're, we're bringing more windows into the space. So it's, it's a little bit closed off, but it doesn't feel that closed off. I kind of like that idea. Let's actually bring in the stairs a little bit so we can extend the half wall over onto those sides. Uh, I think that might be cool. Is it this level? Yeah, it's that level of the half wall. 
I think that could look cool. All right, let's try it. Uh, where are those short windows I'm thinking of? I mean, we have these ones. These are not the ones I was thinking of, but they could look kind of cool. I was actually thinking of these ones. I mean, that's that's an option for sure. Uh, where's the single wide version? Let's see if we can add these to here at all to make it look cooler. I kind of like that. Maybe we can grab this glass. Oh, it doesn't connect properly on this side. That's that's the problem. So I'm thinking we might have this on foundation, just kind of a low foundation that you don't really need stairs to get onto. Uh, do I want to add a window on the top level? Like the one you can't really access? I think that might look nice, but we would have to find the right window for it that fits the space really well and comes in black <laughs> or purple. Uh, Cause I really like that purple window. Like I'm really digging that purple window. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, we could use one of these like we're using downstairs. It would center pretty nicely, but then I think I would wanna bring this upward so it's as far up as it can go between the two levels. Let's actually turn on move objects. I don't know why I don't have it on yet. Uh, so let's turn on move objects. And then if I drag this down, we can kind of get these to meet in the middle there. So they're kind of extended. I really like that. That's a cool idea. Yes, liking that. Okay. Okay, we're, we're doing good. I think I also kind of want to add a fence. Uh, one of these low lying fences of some sort to kind of have a covered deck over this front porch. So I'm going to go ahead and select this on this black swatch. And I'm thinking from here outward. Um... Yeah, let's make it in a room space like this. Something like that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Getting excited. I really like making stuff like this. It's really fun. Uh, so let's go ahead and do maybe like down like this. Oh, let's kind of mimic what we're seeing here. So it's wider in the middle. So I'm thinking maybe we'll have long strips on the center section. Um... And then on this side, maybe these are all just one wide. Yeah, I think that could work. And then maybe we'll do some kind of random divisions here like they do in the, um, like that. Because that kind of mimics the window shape, I think. That could look cool. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and delete the floor in all of these bits. And then if we grab some trim from this area, I think we want a kind of slim one, maybe this one. Yeah, that's really simple. That's kind of what I'm looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and place this all along here. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot, okay. Uh, I know there's some simple columns that came with Get Together. These are probably some of my favorite and these will fit in here perfectly. We can even add more if we wanted. And I feel like the windows help disguise that. Yes, they do. Oh, okay. I'm loving this. Oh, I am really liking this. Okay. I think we need a couple of these columns up here on this area as well, which is going to be our little balcony upstairs. I think maybe this door can work upstairs as well. Yes. And maybe we can also duplicate these windows to place over on the sides of this. That looks kind of cool. I'm kind of liking that. Cool. I'm just going to move the lot a little bit. Uh, I actually would like to add a pretty spacious back porch. We have a good size front porch, but I think it would be nice to have like a pretty big back porch. Maybe even a pool back here would look nice. I feel like I don't do pools that often, so I think it would be a nice uh, extra touch. Ooh, we could even extend to the deck so it comes off the side here so it's not entirely just behind the house. It kind of comes off to the side. I like that. I like that a lot. And then the pool would look really nice in that area, I think. Something like that. I mean, I kind of want it to be bigger than that. So maybe if we extend this and extend the pool, because I would like to have access to the stairs right there. Maybe we'll place this here instead. And then this can extend, just not quite as much. Yeah, maybe that could work. Huh. Definitely an option. I kind of want to make this pool like a different area or a different shape. So it's not just not just a uh, rectangle. That's the word I'm looking for. What am I doing here? Uh, so maybe if we extend this this way, 
we get kind of a more interesting shaped pool, which I quite like. Can we actually make it so the deck is that shape too? Let's try that. Let's make a wall in this area or right here. Let's do that. And then if we delete that, the flooring goes with it. So we get this really cool shaped pool. Um, and then we can go ahead and extend this back inward. So the pool is the only thing that's making that come out. I kind of like that. Uh, I feel like maybe this should be at an angle too though. So let's go ahead and delete this section of the ground as well. Awesome. And there we go. But I think I am gonna go ahead and end this first part of this uh, let's build here. We figured out kind of a basic shape. We don't have all the windows back on the house, but I think we're gonna use similar ones throughout. Let me know what you guys think of what we've placed down so far what you do like, what you don't like, and what you want me to work on next. I know we're gonna work on landscaping and floor planning and decorating this whole house. I think this is gonna end up being like four or five parts to get this whole thing done, but I think it's gonna be a really fun time and I'm enjoying what we have so far. So I hope you guys did like this. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that little bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody.